Hello. So you Hello. Love Dana Brinsa. Hello. Currently working as a postdoc at Diamond in the UK, and you just finished up a Marie Curie fellowship at the University of Leeds. Is yes. that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So when um, you did that fellowship, how did you find out about those Marie Curie opportunities? All right. Well, initially, when I um, uh, <clears throat> started looking for fellowship to go abroad, I was looking via the Internet. So here uh, is how I found about Marie Curie Fellowship. I uh, was awarded uh, more than one. I went for a very short uh, time uh, in uh, Northern Ireland, and then I visited Leeds, where accidentally I took from the wall board, uh, the department, an announcement about the Marie Curie Fellowship. I was uh, uh, awarded afterwards to do my PhD at Leeds. Okay. So this is how I, um, I got to Leeds uh, for four years, and I finished a PhD there founded by Marie Curie. Okay. Thank you. So did you find the application process straightforward? Was it complicated or how was it? No. No, at the beginning when I, I started looking for, yes, uh, for a fellowship, I remember there was a pretty simple application form to fill and then uh, I had to write down some uh, the idea I would like to do there and um, I asked my supervisor from my master to write a um, recommendation letter for me. Okay. And that's it. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, for the PhD one, I had an interview over the phone because of some visa issues at the time. And, um, uh, yeah, that was all pretty much very simple. Okay. Okay. So, what did you find was the most challenging or the most rewarding aspect of moving to another country? Oh, Okay, there were a few challenging, but at the end I considered them quite positive because, yeah, um, I overcome them and um, they, um, they um, improved my uh, uh, personal and, um, and social sk uh, skills. For example, I had um, a cultural, well, I had to deal with the cultural difference. The group I was in at Leeds, there was a very international group. Yes. There were lots of um, um, colleagues from different places and uh, we shared good experience, practical experience in the lab, for example, but not only. Uh, but yes, I uh, overcome that. And then um, I had, because I'm an uh, environmental engineer at the base, I had, I went in a field, um, in a geochemistry field, and I had to catch up with some um, subjects like mineralogy, ocean chemistry, uh, crystallography. Um, however, this is at the end, this at the end brought, uh, enlarged my, um, my knowledge um, and uh, was only uh, benefiting me for uh, what I, uh, yeah. Uh, a, a, um, what I, and I am now. Okay. So, yes, as a reward. Um, no, it was a fantastic experience for me at Leeds to work with uh, in the group of Liam Benning. Um, uh, I finished with a PhD, which I think it is... It is um, it's an achievement. It is an achievement. Um, um, I don't know to tell. Yes. A lot of collaborations, papers. I had uh, when I finished my PhD, I had already two papers written in a good articles as a first author and uh, others mm -hmm. uh, second and third uh, uh, author uh, in collaboration with people from Leeds, the uh, good people in um, yes. in the field. Yeah. So yeah. It, so it it has helped your career a lot, I suppose. Sure. Oh, definitely, it's, definitely. It's, now that you're working at a diamond, actually, would you say that it's it's the Mary Curry Fellowship that has helped you to get that position at Diamond in, in, as a postdoc? Yes. 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 Sure. Uh, without this opportunity to know how to do um, real um, research, yes, and uh, meet so many people during this um, 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 project fellowship mm -hmm. at Leeds, I. I can say that definitely I couldn't be here now. Okay. okay. I had the experience to do some synchrotron work uh, during my 
my PhD, so that helped me. Uh, yeah. Um, it helps you a lot. Okay. To get experience in what I'm doing now. Okay. So based on, on, on all this experience, what advice would you give to others now who are considering oh. applying for a fellowship? Yes, for me it was a real opportunity to open new, new, new international uh, opportunities for, for the career, that is for sure. So please do apply. Um, it is pretty simple, it's very easy, accessible to everyone. And um, um, so it's, it's a good, it's yeah. a good career, it's that, it, it's, it's, it allows progresses in, in everyone's career. Networking, yes, yes, okay. international wise, yeah. Okay. Any advice on, on conferences and outreach activities um, that you could recommend oh. to others, to other fellows? Yes. Every year I've been to uh, at least one conference and then I think I liked most the Goldschmidt one. Okay. In, the, in our, yeah, I have been for three years. And now this year I'm going as well, so I can oh, meet many great. people there. Um, so Goldschmidt, uh, GES, Geochemistry of Earth, uh, Earth Surface. Uh -huh. um, and then, yeah, publish. Uh, I'm still publishing, uh, well, preparing articles now to publish in uh, different uh, journals. Um, the one associated with Joe Cam with, with um, Goldschmidt is uh, Joe Chemica and Joe Chem uh, so Chemica and Joe Chemica Acta, which I have in a, um, yeah a few abstracts in. So ah, I should mention here. Just sorry if I go back to the to the previous question. I had opportunities to go to the various uh, winter and summer school and interact with people from other networks, international networks, not only mine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so no. it was a very good and different courses um, because Marie Curie has a very generous budget for personal and professional development, and that yeah, I took most of uh, the most of it as well from this okay. point of view, and I went to these summer schools which weren't re uh, necessarily related uh, directly within our network. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, Loredana, and for all this information. Oh. And I look forward to seeing you in Prague then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.